everyone. So I got a request to do a video on some brushes. So I've picked out 12 of the most used brushes that I own. So I've organized them into sort of face and eye brushes and I'm going to go through how I use them. So when I'm applying foundation, I use one of two brushes. The first is a flat brush, just like this. This one's from Studio Gear. It's number 16. This brush I use to apply my foundation to my face and blend it in. It works very nicely. It's a really easy brush to use. I really like this one. Um, you could easily find this brush in pretty much any other brand. I just happened to come across this one when I was at Ulta one day, so I really like this. If I don't use that brush for application, then I use the MAC 187, and it's a brush that looks like this. It's really dense at the bottom and really fluffy at the top. So you do the same thing. You get the foundation on the brush, and you're going to work it around in circles with this brush um, to blend it all in. So I most prefer this brush, and I kind of use sort of flat strokes kind of like this to get the foundation on and then kind of blend it in. If I have any lines or anything that are left over at the end, I usually use my finger to kind of buff it in. Now my next kind of grouping of brushes is powder brushes. Uh, I have three that I really like. The first is the MAC 182. It's a kabuki brush, really dense, really nice for getting sort of pressed powder on your brush and then sort of buffing, buffing it into your skin. Now this brush has a tendency to put a lot of powder in your face, so if you don't really like a matte powdered look, then this might be, um, this might not be the best brush for you. But it's a really nice brush. Um, it's a MAC. It's, I think, one of their nicer brushes, uh, or one of the ones that I really like anyway. Um, but it is one of their more expensive brushes. So if you don't like a really powdered look, this one is not a, a good investment piece for you. Now the next brush that I've most recently purchased is a rounded powder brush from Sephora. It's number 49. It's a really big powder brush, and I really like to use this with loose powder. Um, one of my favorite loose powders is Laura Mercier, uh, her translucent powder. So I kind of load it on here and then sort of lightly go all the way around my face. So this brush is really big and fluffy, so you don't have to do, do a lot of work in order to get the powder distributed everywhere. And then the last brush that I like to use for powder is the MAC 129. It looks just like this. Um, if I don't want a really heavy powder look or I'm just kind of on the go, I just grab this really quick, lightly, you know, put the powder on my face and then I'm basically out the door. So those are my powder brushes. Now the next thing I usually would apply is some kind of blush. Um, there's two brushes that I really like to use for that. The first, again, is the MAC 129. So I like this brush because it's really easy to apply the blush in the areas that you want to apply it to. It's really soft and fluffy and it's really easy to blend out. The second that I like to use is the MAC 187. It's the foundation brush that I talked about earlier. As you can kind of see, it's a little bit pink. This brush is fantastic for putting on blush. It gets the blush on there really lightly, and then you can really lightly stipple it on your face, and it blends out really nicely. So if you don't want a super heavy blush look, this is a really nice brush to use. And then sometimes I put on bronzer, sometimes not, but if I'm going to put on bronzer, I use one of two brushes. The first is the rounded powder brush from Sephora. I like to use this to sort of put sort of a, a, a general glow around my face. I do the three across my forehead, cheek, and chin area, just like that. So I like that because it really just distributes the color really evenly and it, and it blends it out really nicely. And then if I want to do sort of more a, a more stronger contoured look with bronzer, I use my slanted powder brush. And this one's from Benefit. Um, it's kind of like a got an angle on it, as you can see. And I use that to put the bronzer in the specific areas that I'm looking to put it in. So that's a really nice brush for that. So those are basically my face brushes. So now we're gonna go into sort of my eye brushes. I think everyone needs to have a basic sort of um, eyeshadow brush. This one's from Sonia Kashuk. It's a really nice brush, very dense, very soft. So it's really nice for packing on color onto your eyelid. Sonia Kashuk you can get from Target, so that's a really good place to get a really affordable brush. Now my like kind of all-time favorite blending brush, crease brush, is another Sony Kashuk brush. It looks just like this. I actually have two of these, one that I like to use for dark colors and one that I like to use for light colors. So this brush I actually use for all over my eye, on my lid, on my highlight area, and my crease area. It's a really easy brush to work with. Um, it's kind of tapered at the top. It's pretty dense, but it has a little bit of flexibility to it. So if you're not really that great with applying um, eyeshadow, I think this is a really easy brush to use. And then the only MAC brush that I have for eyeshadow at this point is the MAC 224. It's this brush. 
It's a really fluffy sort of blending brush and it's really great for blending out color in your crease. But it's not a very easy brush to work with if you're a beginner, so I wouldn't re recommend this type of brush for the beginner. I would recommend something more like the Sony Kashuk one. And it's also much more affordable, so you're not going to waste a lot of money on a brush if you end up not liking it. So then I have two kind of kinds of brushes that I like to use for applying color to my under eye. And the first, this is a brush from Essence of Beauty, and I actually got this, I think, from a Walgreens or CVS, someplace of that sort. It's sort of pointed at the end. It's a really small tipped brush and it helps it's really easy to get it under your eye and apply the color. Now the next brush that I like to use for that is by Stila. It's a really small tipped brush. Um, it's a little bit more flexible um, and a little bit smaller tipped than this one. Um, so it's really nice to apply the color also very uh, specifically to where you need to use it. This brush is also really nice to use for eyeliner so if you have a cream eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner you can use it to apply the eyeliner in that way. However, I most prefer using an angled brush for eyeliner. I really like um, L'Oreal's Hip Cream Eyeliner. I think it's fantastic, and I think MAC also has a really nice cream eyeliner. But I like to use a brush like this. It's kind of angled. It's pretty stiff, so it allows you to put the eyeliner specifically where you want it in a very straight, neat line. Um, so I really like that about this brush. This one I actually just got from the drugstore, so you definitely don't need to spend a lot of money on brushes in order to get really good use out of them. I think I have, in this collection of brushes, uh, one, two, three, I think I have four matte brushes and the rest of them are either from the drugstore, Sephora, or Ulta. I am really excited because I did just buy a new set of brushes from a company called um, Sigma, and they have a website online that I'll link to the, the video. Uh, Juicy Star 07 has a really nice review on this, so if you're interested in purchasing brushes from this company, you should go watch her review. Um, they sell their brushes in sets uh, that cost about $60 to $80 for their sets. You get between 8 and 12 brushes, which is a really nice, affordable way to get a sort of complete brush set. Um, they're really high quality, and some of them are synthetic, some of them are natural made. Mostly the synthetic ones are brushes like this, where you need really stiff bristles so that you know you can apply the makeup specifically but there are other brushes like their powder brushes and their eyeshadow brushes like this they are made of uh, real hair so that's a nice quality to them so I just bought that I'm really excited it hasn't come in the mail yet but when it does I'm gonna be using those brushes right away and I'm gonna put up a review so I hope that this was helpful if I didn't touch on any of the types of brushes that you're interested in using please message me and I'll be happy to um, talk to you about how to use these those types of brushes so I hope you have a wonderful weekend, I hope you enjoy the Halloween, and I hope that your uh, weather is fantastic so you can get some fun in. So have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.